Um, I like to look at your earlier years in in the startup, and um, one of the things that it's interesting um, to cover is this trend in consumers with images and so on. Can you tell us? A little bit more. Sure. So what we really had to do is we had to look at what people were doing with text, right? So there's a whole business built around natural language processing and text analytics and social media, where they're trying to identify trends and topics of conversation, understand sentiment around a particular campaign, tracking things like impressions and engagement. So, for example, one use case might be uh, tracking the value of a of a sponsorship, right? So you know at a sporting event how many people are in attendance and how many people are watching on TV, but there are all these people posting images of the game where there might be sponsorship、um, and logos on, you know, let's say basketball, a backboard, the the floor, and so there's all this additional impression and, and engagement that's happening visually, but it's not being captured via text. So let's say AT and T sponsors、uh, the the NCAA Final Four. No one at the game is really talking about AT and T typically, but they're taking lots of pictures of heavily branded assets there. And because you have the ability with computer vision and AI to track that, we can understand what was kind of the return on investment that they got from from a social perspective、um, on that investment. So that would be one use case. And so that、uh, just just for our viewers to understand, so basically the customer here is a media agency that is telling to their customers. Here are our results, and our results are more, if you like, extensive that you have believed until today. Because now we can measure also the visual engagement of people.、Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So yeah, it's typically、um, agencies and brands that were purchasing this technology. This may not be something a lot of people want to hear, but I'm beginning to see that AI is becoming, at least in some respects, sort of a commodity. It's becoming very, very easy to build.、Um, you know, we have access to data, cheap GPUs.、Um, you can, you know, leverage neural networks from Microsoft, Facebook, you know, almost for completely for free. And so, specifically as it related to doing things like logo detection, object detection, scene recognition, and all those different areas, where a lot of the value now becomes is around the workflow and the outcomes, and basically integrating into what people are doing in their everyday lives. I think that just delivering a technology is not one of the is not how you can extract true value, especially as we see more people becoming、uh, adept at building these technologies. I think early on when I started, there weren't a lot of people that could do it.、Um, but I think with things like TensorFlow and Microsoft Azure, what they're doing makes it very, very easy and a low barrier entry for people to go and build technologies like these without you know having to be some sort of AI expert. And so, what's really going to be important is really understanding the business application and integrating with, with an individual's everyday workflow, understanding what they do day to day, and then trying to apply that technology to what they're doing day to day. So, Crimson Hexagon, when I was there, they were very well integrated into the workflow of the brand analysts and media strategists. And so, they understood the things that they wanted to, to track. They understood what the outcomes were that they wanted to look at, things that they measured, and so. He was figuring out how to integrate with that to figure out what the ultimate value was going to be, because that's what people will pay for. They won't pay for a technology alone.